Hey gang guys, Steve here from Australian 4 x 4 Adventures. I haven't done that intro in ages. I kind of miss doing it. You know, I feel like a wanker, but it's kind of me. Like, I'm kind of a wanker. <laughs> Just look in the comment section, everyone will tell you about it. Victoria's back in ISO. Aren't we freaking lucky? Um, no trips for us, so that means I'm back to doing some reviews. I've had some of these products for a little while now. I've been testing them out over some time. I've been just waiting a bit longer so I can actually give you an, act an actual opinion on what I think they are rather than just getting a product and saying it's great because I got it. Because that's not me. Have a look through some of my other videos, some of the review stuff I do. Some companies really don't like me because I've actually got an opinion, unlike some of the paid for promotion people out there. If you get a product for free and just say it's great because you got it for free, you're a dickhead. Right, anyway, get that part out of the way. Um, I got this for free. What? <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Moxie. So, uh, Moxie at Mox, Mox Welding in Packland there. He's a supplier for Crash Pad. Good mates with him. Uh, chat all the time. He does some awesome tray work. Um, if you're after any custom trays for the else, if I ever chop the 200, definitely get Moxie to sort, to sort a tray out for me. Um, gave me one of these chainsaw bags ages ago. I've been trying it out, take a couple trips. Not that many trips because, you know, the Rona. Oh, no. um, but managed to give it a bit of, bit of a whirl. But today is more about just showing you what the product is, but I wanted to actually show you some details of it to let you know what it's all about and if you want to buy one or not. So there's going to be a couple of different segments to this to this video. One, I'm just going to have a quick overview of what the bag is, what it can fit in there, how it works, blah, blah, blah. A couple of questions that came through on my Instagram thing. Same thing, Australian 4x4 Adventures on Instagram and Facebook. A couple of questions came through about waterproof. How good are they? Um, how are they to tie down? A couple of other random questions which I would never even thought to talk about. But I'm going to try and cover them for you here. So all those random things can, can be spoken about and hopefully, well... You might want to buy one, you might not. I really don't care, I'll make nothing out of it. Up to you guys. <laughs> Alright, delving straight in. Overhead cam. You may or may not have watched the intro. Who knows? So, this one. So, my main chainsaw I use these days is my AEG electric chainsaw. So far, really impressed. Still using it to try and come up with a review for you. But, it's getting me. Alright, so, big enough. Fit the chainsaw in there. <laughs> The charger, not the chainsaw. The. All right. Uh, oh, also the chainsaw. So these bags come in two sizes as well, big and small. Um, I originally grabbed the small one, thinking this would fit in there. Missed out by like 30 mil. I was devo about it. So went back, got a bigger one. Uh, this is the AEG 56 volt uh, electric chainsaw. Works a treat. Like it so far. Uh, I always keep bar oil in there as well. I keep it in a little um, Ziploc seal bag at the same time. No, because the bottle's not the best. So I don't really want oil throughout the bag if I can avoid it. So, double bag it. Here you go, guys. Double bag it. When in Thailand. Uh, extra chain as well. Always keep a spare chain just in case. So you can swap them out and then sharpen. Um, just a, a small little sharpening tool as well. Just really basic. A lot of you guys are going to be... Like just going, what are you doing with that? I'm a bit old school, it works for me. It's enough to get me out of the shit. Oh, inside though, um, not a lot to it. It's pretty basic, but sometimes basic works well. So you get 
two pockets inside on, on each side. So two, two pockets this side there, two pockets this side here. They're fairly sizable. See, this one's gonna be great for the small stuff. So that all fits in there nicely. The bigger pockets at the back, that's why I use the barrel in there. And then there's some random stuff this side. I don't carry a lot of stuff with my chainsaw in the first place. It's just bar oil, the charger, and the actual chainsaw. Tools I've got in the back of the car. I don't need to carry tools in there. Um, I suppose I probably put, I probably should put some gloves in there and earmuffs. You know, some PPE. Yeah, who, who likes that? Um, but everything, it's basic. It works. It's really good, for my opinion. Anyway, so that's treat that's the bag all right for the outside part of it so everything back in there um, good zips nice big uh, as it gets caught on my uh, ziplock bag they're a good strong big zip overall nice and smooth big little big uh, little handle on there or grip that you can use to zip it up and down you can see it beautiful and smooth and this thing's been in a, in a little bit of dust not a lot to be honest it's in the car most of the time Nice and tight. Good handles. Everything's double stitch. Um, I like it. Well, I don't know what else to say. It's a, it's a bloody bag. Jesus Christ. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> Everything else though. So there's a couple of other variants to it as well, which I thought was cool. Obviously you've got these handles here, but you've got the handles on the back as well. So if you want to carry it vertically, go nuts. Got a little hard tube around there, so everything's so it doesn't just collapse the entire bag as you do it. Makes life nice and easy. Cool, all right, let's jump on to the uh, to the first test. Is it waterproof inside? Like if you get oil spilt everywhere inside this thing, is it gonna drip out into your car? Because to be honest, a lot of people buy these type of bags to put them inside your car rather than on the roof, purely because no one likes carrying stuff on the roof these days. I don't know why. I don't actually, I hate it. All right, waterproof. All right, so two types of waterproofing. One, can I hold water in? Two, can I hold water out? It's a... Give it a bit of So this is probably a little bit over and above what you'd normally get. I don't know, like a car maybe. I suppose they would do it 100k an hour for a couple of hours and some pouring rain. You might get this. You know, we'll call this a torture test. Alright, let's do this live. Yeah. Haven't opened it. Da -da. Dun dun dun! Uh oh. Um, yeah, so it turns out it's not completely waterproof getting water in. I don't know if that's a fail or not. <laughs> it's probably not ideal, but in the same note, it's chainsaw, it can get wet. Probably not electric on those, that's probably, probably something to keep in mind. Probably don't want to put your electric chainsaw in this bag on your roof and pouring rain. You see, that was, that was pretty torturous, but that's a lot of water in there too, so. Yeah. So, answer the question one. No, it's not waterproof from the outside in. I don't hold hope, hope for the inside out now, but, Let's do that one. So, um, probably don't try this at home, kids. Sticking your hose inside your chainsaw bag. <laughs> probably not recommended, but, now oh, is what it is. So I'm gonna actually just fill it up, see what happens. So, and this is sort of extraordinary, really. You, you really wouldn't do this normally at all. Like, or a bit of oil inside your bag isn't the same as Filling it with water. Water is a whole lot more fluid, fluid, fluent than oil is going to be. I think that's a word. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what's what's the proper word for that? Fluid, 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 fluid-like, liquid. Don't know. Can't think of it. Um, so this this is definitely not normal. Uh, but if it can hold water in like this, especially on the base, it's definitely going to hold uh, bar oil and whatnot into the into the into the end of it there. So bit of a torture test. That's holding water really well so far. Wait, we're talking wrapped it up to here, like over halfway. 
it's getting heavy. Full water. Almost. It's not, it's not pissing out anyway. Oh, oh, look at that first leak. Where's that from the top? Oh no. Probably not totally fair to it. I'm not fair. I'm not a fair person. A lot of pissing out. Uh, straight through the zip. Okay. Let's do this. Look at that. That's solid water. Yeah. Definitely the, uh, the zip sure is going to be the weak point. Like you sink the here. Yeah. You sink the zip in. Push out water. Alright. I think I think that test is done. I do like ice chocolate. Ice chocolate. That's why I'm getting fat though. I think this is not gonna dry out. Mmm! Mmm! Go! Alright, bugger it, no wet. Cool. All right. Second big question I had was, how do you tie the damn thing down the roof without crushing everything inside it? It's a good question, and I reckon it's a design flaw in nearly every single design chainsaw bag on the market that I've found anyway. There might be one out there, but I haven't seen it yet. How to tie these suckers down without just having to put a whole strap over the whole thing, and just whether you're using ratchet straps or not, just, just reach that thing down, and you're gonna break something eventually inside. I reckon, let me show you up top. If you want to store your chains around your roof, chuck it wherever you want to go. Say, so, look, front here. How do you tie it down without crushing everything inside it? So, some people like oxy straps. For me, this is a lot of weight, like, especially with the electric chainsaw, to uh, just be relying on an oxy strap. Maybe there. I right. suppose you put a couple of them across there and it'd, it'd hold it okay. You do some crazy tracks though, where you're doing 130 more on the highway. It's a lot of wind, mind you, to help dry it out at the moment. It's still really wet. It moves around like. You can put a couple on there. Granted, 100% you can do it. Other option. Other option is going to be a giant ratchet strap. So just hook them up. And just reach that baby down. That's going to be a whole lot more stable than what your uh, your oxy trap's going to be. But you're crushing everything inside the bag. It's kind of it's kind of shit. I don't like it. My third option, which I think. Crash pad should probably adopt. I have no idea whether Crash Pad watch my videos or not. I hope not after this review. So here we go. Actually, I hope it is. I've got an idea on how to make these things 10 times better, tying them down to your roof rack. Right, so this is kind of my, my makeshift idea of what I reckon chainsaw bag guys should, should be looking into. Essentially, they need to build in a way that you can tie the bag down without putting a strap right over the top of it crush the hell out of it. Probably not the best idea using the handles like this, I reckon, unless they're super strong reinforced. Which these are pretty strong, but, you know, if they had a dedicated strap or a bar on the side there, reinforced back through to the zip pretty much, that you could strap down like that, that is solid as a rock. That's the way I'd be tying mine down normally. The advantage to having it on either side rather than having to cross the straps over like I've got now, to get the chainsaw out, you've got to unstrap everything to do it. It's just, it's painful. This is why people stop carrying chainsaws on their roof and when you have bags to bloody carry them inside the car. If this was on the outside, strapped down, direct straight down, you should be able to basically get up here, unzip the bag, take the chainsaw out, and the bag stays strapped in. All you gotta do is bloody put it back down, put the chainsaw back in, zip it back up and you're off again. <sighs> 
I'm gonna patent that idea, I reckon. Hold the phone for a second. I think, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is gonna be really hard for me to, <laughs> oh, um, <clears throat> I think I'm wrong. What? <laughs> God, that hurts, that hurts so bad. Anyone who knows me knows that's like incredibly hard for me to admit. Um, the whole rant I just had about not being able to tie it down to the roof, I think I'm actually wrong. It's, oh, that's painful. Have a look at, just follow, follow me for a second. Watch, watch. Seriously, this is the best freaking chainsaw bag I have ever seen in my life. Whoa. I was going to bag this thing out a little bit based on the fact that you couldn't tie it down your roof without crushing it. This is tied down to the roof and I can get to the chainsaw without having to undo a damn thing. Let me show you. Tied down. Crank it up a bit. Tied down. Going nowhere. Fixed at both ends. Oh look, there's a tree on the track. I don't want to have to undo all my saps, but I've got my saw out. Holy bat balls. That is cool. I like that. I really like that. I don't know if that's done on purpose with these, these hard fixings at the end, so you can fix it down hard, pull it down and you still access the zip. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Or where it's just lucky coincidence and I just happen to, you know, be that world genius person that I am. <sighs> and figure out how the hell that, that worked. That's cool though. I thought they were just heavy duty handles so you'd grab it and pick it up and, and drag along, whatever you had to do with it. They're heaps stronger than I thought they were going to be. You don't have to put a strap over the middle of it. If anything, absolutely anything at all. If you're worried about it all flapping around. Chuck an Oki around it. Sucker's going nowhere. Oki takes 30, no, not even, three seconds to take off, as opposed to undoing ratchet straps and all the rest of the crap. Ooh, that is a good bag. I'm happy with that. I like it. I freaking like it. I don't know if Crash Bad meant to do it or not, but my god, ooh, you guys just went up tenfold in my book. That's awesome. Alright guys, so that's it for my crash pad chainsaw bag review thing, test, checking out, having a look at, figuring out magic on the roof rack. Oh my god, that's fucking good. I like that. I really like that. Um, do I think they're worth buying? Absolutely, I think they're worth buying. I think they're a great product. I think they're an Australian company. I don't see anything wrong with the bag overall. Obviously, nothing's going to be 100% waterproof for coming out through zips. Just, just, just doesn't happen no matter what. Every zip will leak. Um, I think about 160 bucks, something like that. I don't know, I didn't have to pay for it. I got it for free from Mox Welding and packing them there. Hit him up, he'll, he'll give you a, a ripper deal as well. Otherwise, go straight through to uh, Crash Pad and they'll sort you out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And as always, see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.